Today, in part two of our 10-part series on switching from the PC to the Mac, we're going to look at the Apple menu and the taskbar. Now, on a Mac, the Finder, which we discussed in part one, is similar in some ways to the Start menu in Windows. And to refresh your memory, here is a Windows Virtual Machine, and here is the Start menu, where you can log off, turn off the computer, and do other things. Now, on the Mac, the Apple menu has mostly system-related items on it. It tells you about this Mac, you can do software updates, about your Mac OS X software. You can access all of your system preferences, get things about the dock, locations, and also you can do things like put the Mac to sleep, restart it, shut it down, or log out. Now, another essential difference in the Mac from the PC is the taskbar. Now, in Windows, any program that you click on has a taskbar that shows you all of the available options underneath it. So each program has the taskbar built in. On the Mac, that's not true. You'll see that I was just using VMware Fusion to show you the virtual machine. And up here on the Mac taskbar, it's showing the tasks for VMware Fusion. If I click on Finder, you can see that the taskbar switches to show the commands available for Finder. If I were to click on Firefox, it would now display the commands for Firefox. So in this respect, the Apple is different from the PC. Over here on the right end of the taskbar, there are a number of icons that are available. Some of these are default icons that would be on most Macs and others are th programs that I've installed that are running up there. But you have like the spotlight search, the day and time, the state of your battery if you're on battery power. Uh, this is for your wireless networking, sound, Bluetooth, and so on. So the Apple menu and the taskbar are slightly different from their counterparts in Windows. But once you get used to having the taskbar switch, depending on what program you're using, it's very usable. So that concludes part two.